Well, good day to all of you there in Texas and to Jeremy Volo on this special day. How I wish I could have been there. But the first thing I want to ask is, do you have a bow tie on or not? I told you those are illegal in Texas. So if you have one on, well, I'll just never know. But uh, may the Lord forgive you for that. And we'll, we'll have to get this antinomianism out of you if uh, you're still doing that. Nevertheless, it's a joy to be with you today, thinking about you, Jeremy, on this special and serious day, but also a day of great joy. And I thought about two passages of Scripture for you today. One is there in John chapter 15, where the Lord Jesus spoke of the fact that you did not choose Him. He has chosen you, and He has ordained you that you will go and bear much fruit, and that your fruit will remain. And that's the, the real goal of your lifelong ministry is to bear fruit, not that withers and that's temporal, but is abiding. Um, it's a day of rejoicing uh, today. It's also a day of, of consecration personally for you and continuing in the process of sanctification that's brought you to this point. It's also a day of formal commissioning and ordaining of you uh, confirming the gospel ministry that you've already begun. If Christ does not ordain a man to the ministry, then no church or ordaining council can do anything except that which is outward and really which would be meaningless. But it's also a day of serious attention about the gospel ministry, a day where you set your focus more than ever on the reality and on the humbling realization that God has called you, a, you to a task that's far beyond you, that you will never be sufficient for, that you will never have strength in yourself to execute or to carry out. So you are cast upon Christ. And that's why abiding in Him is the ultimate calling you have to have daily, day in and day out. John fifteen sixteen. You did not choose Him, but He chose you and has ordained you that you will go and bear much fruit that remains. The other passage that came to my mind, I'm just going to read it for you. You know it. 2 Timothy 4, God tells every man of God, as Paul told Timothy, I charge you in the presence of God, and of Christ Jesus, who is to judge the living and the dead, and by His appearing in kingdom, preach the word. Be ready in season and out of season. Reprove, rebuke, and exhort with complete patience and teaching. For the time is coming when people will not endure sound doctrine, but having itching ears, they will accumulate for themselves teachers to suit their own passions and will turn away from listening to the truth and wander off into myths. As for you, always be sober-minded. Endure suffering. Do the work of an evangelist. And fulfill your ministry. Jeremy, you may live a long life and have 50 years of ministry. You may not, like Brainerd or McShane or Keith Green. You may only have a few years of ministry. But whether that's few or many, the time will fly by. The decades will fly by. These words aren't yet real to you, but one day they will be. When Paul was at the end of his ministry, and in retrospect, he had to have looked back and wonder how the years passed so quickly. 
And he said at the end of his ministry, I am already being poured out as a drink offering, and the time of my departure has come. Jeremy, one day you will have to say, I have fought the good fight. I have finished the race, and I have kept the faith. That's your goal, to not only run well, but to finish well, not just in the ministry, but even as a Christian. And if you run the race well as a true Christian, you'll have grace to run the race well in the Christian ministry. So, my brother, keep close to Christ. Stay dependent upon Him. Stay deeply in the Scriptures. Always be humble. And as much as anything, be faithful in all things. I love you. I look forward to being with you and being in ministry with you in the days ahead. So may the love of God and the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the communion of the Holy Spirit be upon you. God bless. I love you.